Yo, what's good, ladies and gentlemen? Friday night mix with DJ Racer. Oh, you know who this is? It's Todd Blood, baby. Let's, let's go. What's up, Todd Bless? Todd Bless is what in the building, you? ladies and gentlemen. What's up? What's going on? What's going on, Racer? What's uh, good? I'm doing good, man. First of all, I want to let everybody know that I had Ty Bless scheduled early June, and I had to cancel our interview because I was going to Vegas, hang with the guys, and he was cool enough to say, "Listen, if you're gonna if you're gonna cancel me for Vegas, I, I'm with you 100 percent." And he yeah, was man. cool with it, so thank you for that, and thank you for coming on board and doing it again, man. Definitely, man. Vegas, you got, you know, I'm a Vegas nut. So when you, you can't miss Vegas. Come on, bro. <laughs> I know. And let me I tell you. It, though. How was it? Did you have a good time? Like, um, you can't tell me. That. Man, so it was a blast. It was me, Chad Miller, and uh, Tony Borico, another DJ from the station. And we took all our wires with us, and we were just going crazy and, and just act like a bunch of kids. Man, I, I'm almost 50 years old, but I still love acting like a kid. I love it. Hey, I, I, what I've noticed is that we, a lot of us, a lot of us, as we get older, are getting younger, <laughs> and we're having a lot more fun than we ever did. I think because you know, you know, I guess it's technology because you know we came from when when there were it wasn't as much technology. When we're the technology immigrants, so we're just having so much fun with all of this, man. And you know, it's like a second childhood for a lot of us, you it, know. And it is because because I got kids, and one of my kids is twenty seven years old, right? And the sad part about it is, I have more fun than he does. <laughs> yeah, because they were born with it. They're like, it's boring to them. They, they don't understand how much we've progressed as, as, a, as a people. <laughs> so we're having fun. I'm glad, though. It's great. It's a great thing for us. It is, man. It's a good thing, man. Yeah. So, f first of all, man, let me tell you. I usually do not read bios from the artists because I usually like to wing it. But you are so much all over the place, all over the map. That I actually had to go in and read your bio, bro. And brother, let me tell you, man, you are doing more than people even know. And the good thing about it is you're so modest that you don't say anything, man. You turn this to the TV, you've been in TV. I mean, I even saw you did commercials. A one mm -hmm. for Foot Locker. And what was the other mm -hmm. one for? I did, I did Foot Locker. I did, I did, I did, I did BET. I did vodka commercials. Those are those that you didn't. Some, that's something you didn't see. Vodka commercials. A lot of them that play overseas. I was I, I was in, I was I was a part of a, a agency that did a lot of things for Foot Locker, Champ Sports, and places like that. So they they placed me a lot of times for doing things like that. And it, and it's dope Toyota. though. And it's mm -hmm. dope because you could actually look you up on IMDb, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm on there. I, I've done I've done I've um freaking it. i uh, jump off places. Um, a couple of other records. I've actually been on a, in a lot of movies. <laughs> People don't. I don't say anything about those either. They're, they're smaller movies, but they they're out there. Hey, it's yeah. a smaller movie. Don't matter if it's an A movie or a B movie. It's on TV mm -hmm. or it's in the big screen. It doesn't matter, man. You still accomplished it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I was in a couple of. I was in. A, I was in a movie as well. I, um, I think the, I forgot the name of the movie. Kelly, tell me. Uh, uh, I think it was. Um, it was like like a wait into itself for men type of a movie. I forgot the damn. I forgot the title. It's been that long. I think it was probably maybe ten years ago now. Oh, nine years ago now. I think it was. No, that's all good, brother. And I'm also. Yeah. Oh yeah. Go ahead. You a diary of a tired black man out there in the movie. A tired of a diary of a tired black man. <laughs> that was fun. That was dope. And, and I see in your bio, brother, you you've done stuff with Rihanna. You gotta Ooh. tell me, Rihanna. It says well, here. That, you know what? Those are those are those are those remixes me and Joe Bells have done. They, yeah, I got a couple of remixes that we've done, and I, I don't consider those with them. I consider them. I'll be the. I've appeared on records that we've put on the same record, but you know, it, it's 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 pretty, it's I definitely done good for my brand over the years. See, but now, but but now here, see, here's the difference between you and I. You look at it like it's not a big deal. The way I look at it, if it has Ty Bless's name on it, yeah, it's all you, brother. It's all it's you. History. It's in, it's in the history books. It, it's there. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, it, it's there. It's like the NBA. You could be in the NBA and sit in the bench all day long. You don't count until you come off that bench, even if it's for a minute. Yeah. So it's all good. True. All right, brother. So let's talk about Stand By Me. That remix is fire. It's amazing. It's getting a lot of good feedback. So talk to me. Tell me what inspired you to redo that song. That's such a good song, wholesome song. Jay Adams, we were we was having a, we was writing and um 
in the studio a couple of we were actually experimenting. I've been trying to I you, I know uh, you played I think you just played my mix and it was like with with me rapping over freestyle beats and things like that. Um, I was trying to indulge and actually trying to maybe make a, a, a EP or an album worth of music kind of like that. And um, we was clashing because Jay Allen's, you know, melodies and things have to be perfect. The vibe got to be right. It, it, it can't be forced. So we throw the song away. That's, we, we do that together all the time. So we threw away like, we, we threw away like two songs. And he just asked me, yo, you know any oldies? Can you sing Stand By Me? Just as off the top, right? And I'm like, you know what? I, that's all, that was one of my dad's joints. I'm pretty sure I could pull off Stand By Me. You know what I mean? I, I think I, I, there's like two words I'm not sure if I went and looked them up. And then he was challenging me because you know, I'm a rap artist, more like, you know, more or less. I'm not, I'm not a singer like these guys. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the, the people out here, that's George, like George Lamont and people like that. I'm more of a rapper, you know what I'm saying? I can hold a note and, you know, play the back. But that song, I was like, you know what? That's a soulful one. I got, I got you know, I got hyped up, went to my backyard, came back in and sang it straight through <laughs> a couple times. And you may not be a singer, brother, but I can tell you right now, you can hold a yeah. note. You can hold a note. Yeah, man. Thank you. All right, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to yeah. play Stand By Me because I want to hear it. It's a dope yeah. song, so we're going to do you. it. Be inspired, y'all. This is a, it was a, I made this song because there was a lot of drama in the industry at the time, and I was trying to calm the, the mood down and make people feel, you know, feel better. You know what I'm saying? That people, you know, and, and I want, honestly, it was more or less, I wanted to, like, be a signature of that, what we need to do to hold this thing up. And hold this thing together. We gotta stand by each other and build each other up. So stop tearing each other down. Perfect words, brother. Here we go. Yeah. Stand by me. Ty bless. When the night has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light we'll see. No, I won't be afraid. No, I won't be afraid Just as long as you stand Stand by me So darling, darling, stand by me Oh, stand by me Oh, stand Stand by me Stand by me Stand by me Should tumble and fall, or the mountain should crumble to the sea. I won't cry, I won't cry, I won't cry, no, I won't shed a tear. Just as long as you stand, stand by me. So, darling, darling, stand. Stand by me, stand by me, stand by me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So darling, darling, stand by me, stand by me. Oh, stand by me, stand by me. Oh, stand. Stand by me, stand by me, stand by me, oh stand by me, oh stand, stand by me, stand by me, stand by me, oh. With the night has come and the land. Is dark and the moon is the only light we'll see. No, I won't be afraid. No, I won't be afraid. Just as long as you stand, stand by.
Now, you're probably wondering, why is he playing the acapella version? Everybody that knows when I do my interviews and I have the artists, I love to expose the artist. So I wanted to do two things. One, to show your voice is magnificent. And two, the words of this song is so wonderful. I wanted to give them a taste of the lyrics before I play the song. So that's the reason I did what I did. <laughs> Go. That's deep. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> For real. No, it's so good, deep. man. So let's talk a little bit, man. Let let's yeah. have some fun here. So that's good. you beatbox, don't you? Yeah, I beatbox. That's yeah, that was one of one that was definitely the first thing that people noticed about me artistically. That made a difference for me, honestly, beatboxing. So I, I'm going to ask you for a favor. I'm going to put you on the spot. And I just want you to give me a, a, a little bit of your beatbox. A little bit? Um, <laughs> that, yo, excuse my friend, that shit is dope. I love it, man. Brings you back yeah, to man, the I, Dougie Fresh days. So that's that's why I, I that's why I used to copy a lot, man, Dougie. You know what I mean? I love Dougie. Dougie I actually had taught somebody who taught me. That's how I learned. So, Since you're from yeah. New York, have you ever met Dougie? Yeah, I met Dougie first a few times. A few times. Uh, he's like the greatest. He's still one of the greatest entertainers ever. Man, it's funny because I, I was watching the NBA Summer Camp League if, and, and I saw a Flavor Flavor. And Flavor Flavor is looking good too, man. Yeah, Flavor Flavor is all. He's an amazing spirit, period. Point blank. People don't even understand the depth of that guy. <laughs> He's just amazing man, period. Hell yeah. So yeah. so out of yeah. I know you so I know you do R and B, you do freestyle, you do hip hop. What is your absolute favorite genre to play around with? Hip hop is honestly my favorite, absolute favorite. But I like to but I, the thing is that the reason why freestyle and me worked so much is because I liked danceable hip hop. And sometimes and a lot of the times danceable hip hop is not in, in style. You know what I'm saying? It's usually something different, alternative or gangster or something that's in style. But with freestyle the beats are always <laughs> and I could always, you know, make something dance and party. And I love doing that. Cause that's what I, that 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 gives you the best stage, you know what I'm saying? Like they the best stage show is the danceable records to me. And it's you know? true because if you listen to a lot of the hip hop, I consider hip hop now to be more of you smoke out, you listen to, and you chill. Yeah. Right? It's easy listening. Yeah, right. definitely. Yeah. Nothing, nothing. It, it's rare that you get a, a rap or a hip-hop song that has a, a tight beat on it. So I get what yeah. you're saying. 
Yeah, it changed it. Even the even like I mean, if you check it out, like even because because trap became such a, a big force, the hardness of the of hip hop drums became more synthetic and soft. Well, not freestyle. Freestyle drums are hard and banging, and they're more banging than ever. And it's another thing. I love that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know. So I, I like you know. That's why I like still. It's the, the challenge also of being you know rapid over you know, a beat that's like 125 beats per minute to 132, as opposed to 95 is a whole other level. Exactly. You know? Now, yeah. since you love freestyle so much, who have you not collaborated with? Is the key here that you would like to collaborate with? Who have I not collaborated with that I would like to? Um, um, I'm straight up the top. Let me see. Man, I'm from old school. I'm just going from the old school first, right? Yes. Everybody likes old school stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm actually, let me see. I, I'm pretty sure Coral and me are going to do something soon. Um, Coral, I haven't done anything with Coral yet. I haven't done anything with George Lamont yet. I haven't done anything with Lisa Lisa yet or Stevie B. Yeah, the old school that I would like to do with something possibly. Um, honestly, I would like to do something with Mars. Um, is it, is it Marshall Thomas? Is his name? The guy that sings "I Burn." Yes. I would love to do a record with him. I feel like he gets overlooked. You know what I'm saying? He's and that record was like a great record in my at least in my life. You know what I'm saying? Um, new school is gonna be. I gotta do something with James Azor. I gotta do a song. Um, you know, I, I like the new school. I, I have so I love the, I love my new school people. And I want you know people to understand how I have their back. I don't care. Like I mean, if I see a flyer nowadays, man, and, I, and, I, and they don't got one of the people that's making new music now on it, I, I feel disrespected. Like I don't care if I'm not even on it, but at least one of us should be on one of those flies. I feel like you know what I'm saying. So I you know, so I rock with all of y'all, the new, you know, the new guys. You know what I'm saying? Would it be yeah, Audi? Definitely. Audi. Somebody wrote Audi Medina. I'm a big Audi Medina fan. Big, huge, gigantic Audi. But I've been advocating Audi since day one. Jay Mazzola, as soon as this album dropped, I was probably the first person to, to post it and make sure that people pay attention to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, and took him seriously. And um, I, I don't know if you were on Facebook today, but at, at uh, 9 o'clock yeah. your time, Jay Mazzola yeah. went on Facebook Live and gave yep. us a, a little sneak peek of his new uh, song coming out. Yeah, she played like three new joints and they were all crazy. One of them was like a new Jack Swing joint. It was crazy, like the Teddy Riley type style. The other two were two freestyle joints and they were like, yeah, they were amazing. They were just dope, dope. Just the way he he sing, you know, his he has that soul. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, he has that soul. You can't you can't be born with that or you're not. <laughs> and, 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 if you ask me, if you ask me what my wish list was, I want to mm -hmm. see you and Jay Mazur get down and do something together. You guys would absolutely kill it. He definitely will. It'd be stupid. <laughs> It'd be crazy, man. It would be. I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen because we we both we both um have love. Like we, man, I got Tanasi is actually when I, I did this song with Johnny Yo, that was because of Tanasi. You know what I mean? So I'm pretty sure that we uh, we can get together, and get make something happen. Absolutely. So we're gonna talk some more. But you told me when 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 we were messaging, you said play "Stand by Me" and I get to pick the next song. So my, right. the song I'm going to pick, it's my favorite song of all. And if you listen to my shows on Fridays, I play it almost every Friday. And I don't care because I, we were just talking about having a beat you can dance to. Mm -hmm. I don't need to say nothing more. She be freaking it Brad. on the dance floor. Top of the line. <laughs> Hands up. Let's go. Let's go. This is what you're listening to up, on the turn beat. Up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. She be freaking it uh, on the dance floor. Love the way she moves. Freaking it Friday, y'all. Just look at her go. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Just look at her go. Just look at her go. Just look at her go. Feeling saucy in my 
my swag. I'm feeling flossy, don't be mad. Smoking on some purple trash. Pockets deep like A Rod cash. Let's get that money. She be freaking it. Uh huh. to this song i'm sorry you do not have a pulse you cannot be alive and not dance to this song you have to dance to that song <laughs> i feel i feel offended if you don't dance to that song now talk to me how was it doing a song with k7 from tka man how was that i do that all the time that's a regular thing um he he's like a like a mentor of mine so we i kind of came in the game because of him because of k7 so more or less, we do a lot of records. I've done, we've had, we've done hundreds of records together. That was just one of them. Nice. <laughs> that was about one of the most. That's one that people know the most. I love it, man. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. So, what can we expect from Ty? From I mean, what, what I mean, I know knowing you, you probably have a ton of things you're gonna be doing. But tell us the what we can expect this year, because I know you probably got things going on into the next year. But what's going to happen to Ty Bless this year? Everything that happened this year has been kind of like unexpected because I, I kind of like what's going to fall back this year to take you know take, take a step back to go to school because I'm in school right now right so it's like I didn't expect the shy record to get so big you know what I mean and then us having to do what we did there for that and then I didn't expect people to like the stand by me record like they, like they like it as well so like <laughs> it's like I don't even know what's going to happen now you know what I mean realistically I was going to also while I was you know doing the school thing I was going to sit back and produce my own album you know what I mean, from Speedo, because I, I usually lately Jay Allen has been taking the, most of the production, of, you know, for my my records. But I wanted to show the world that I was also a dope producer too, and to produce my own record. You know what I mean? That'd be, that'd so I don't be. know. Yeah. So we'll see what's going on with that. Now, what about any shows? Are, are you coming up on 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 any live shows? Um, I had some. I got something 
Kelly gave me what I think she right in the room. I forgot. I know that's something in the twenty fourth, in August, right? I have a couple of shows, that I, but they'll, they'll Kelly Pinto. She's in the room right now. She knows. She knows where when the next show is. I'm not. I had one on the sixth, and it got canceled. I don't know why. I think it was August sixth. It got canceled. But um, if anybody want to book me, holla at Kelly Pinto. Straight up, all you know what I'm saying. She'll handle it all. She knows my schedule. She knows when the next thing I'm going to be doing. Because <laughs> my mind, honestly, when it comes to that, I, it's like one day at a time for me. You know what I mean? It's, it's, study, it's, study, it's usually been studying, production, promote. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of things because, you know, with the freestyle industry is one thing. But, you know, not everybody in the freestyle industry actually supports my records. You know what I mean? That's they look cool. at me as a, a rap artist, so I have to do things. And it, it's not a horrible thing it's more like a motivational thing for me to actually try to do things like get my records to be popular even outside of freestyle so i'm doing a lot of that a lot of that groundwork myself too see for for me that's hard to believe man because you know i say it over and over and over to me it's good music is good music i don't really care what genre it is man you could do a country song if the country song is popping i'm gonna listen to it yeah i've been around the game a long time so you know people have old vendettas and you know things like that Everybody has a reason to do whatever they want to do, but I, I, I don't. I'm only worried. I only care about is people like you, DJ Racer, and people who support. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna pay attention and focus only on that part. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. You know I really I mean? appreciate it. And talk about Kelly, man. Yeah. Kelly must literally live with a phone on her hand because every time Type Bless comes up, boom. She, I mean, she responds within seconds. I'm like, what? I just yeah. posted that a second ago. Yeah, man. She, she, yeah, she's mostly. Yeah, like she's heavily evolved about that because it's I need that because so I have to do so many other things in my life you know you know streamix radios we know me I, I help me myself Freddie Fred the edit Rivera and DJ Lex you know what I'm saying we all we like we do a lot of working by the season that he just going you know and, and so and there's there's no way I can do everything by myself so I need Kelly and people like that right so and, and that was Kelly's like the enforcer between them and, you know all and, those things that's right and I was gonna that was gonna be my next question what is your association with uh, Extreme X Radio? Because I, you, I, I see you all over the place, and you and Alex are, all, are good. And I mean, everything mm -hmm. you guys are, is popping. So, I, yeah. you know, tell me about it. Well, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the co-chair of the of Extreme X Radio. I'm the co-chairman of it. Of the, I've been since that. I was there when Extreme X Radio used to be a legend of freestyle. When we had the Wake Up Hype Morning Show with myself, Julia Meno. Shout out to Jody. We had our show there, and um, we was turning it. I wanted to turn it into something that was more than freestyle, so it could be have versatility. So we came up with the name Streamix Radio back then. I think that was in 2010. So I've right. been a part of it since the beginning. Well, I want to thank you because you guys allow me to broadcast every Friday night from your station. DJ yeah. Lex is the coolest guy, man. I I, I message him, and within minutes he responds. This is. You this guys is are mad like, cool, man. He, it's, this is his baby, man. You know what I'm saying? And him and between him and, and Freddie, they work really hard. I just do what I can do to keep make sure they keep working. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, we, we're trying to expand. I don't know. We have Edits Planet now as well. You know what I'm saying? So the Edits Planet platform is is more like a social media, our own social media platform. So we can do things like we're doing here, and we can do live streaming of you know of DJs and everybody in our shows without having red lines and getting kicked off. You know what I'm saying? So my goal is to get all of our shows. So, you know, every single rate I'm seeing, every single freestyle radio station that I see right here on the side, I want them all. We're going to want us all to migrate to Edit's Planet social media platform and just start doing our mixes and all our, have our whole culture right there. You know what I mean? That's my goal. Danny, that should be everybody's goal, man, because mm -hmm. if yeah. we do if we do it separately, we're not going to get nowhere, man. If we do it together, mm -hmm. we unite, we're going to be we're going to be strong and we're going to take it yeah. places, man. It's great. Yep. Right. So, my brother, man, let me ask you, man, how was it work? See, I know you say you love working with Audi Medina, and I, I know you worked with Amy Torrey. How was that, man? Because I like that's that jam you got, Hot Spot. Hot Spot. I, I love Hot Spot. So, me and Amy go way back. Like, we was in the same like talent schools. Like we was in the same talent schools when we, when we was like in high school and stuff. And, like, and it was weird because we you know we uh, we went our separate ways after that. You know what I mean? Uh, and career wise. And then all of a sudden, I get a call from Ricky. Remember Freestyle? Everybody knows Ricky Freestyle, Ricky. Yep, of right? course. He calls me, and I, and I think, and he's like, I, Amy wants to be a rapper on a uh, thing, and I told her it should be you. And he put it together. And uh, you know what I mean? And me, me and Amy, we, 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 we went to the same high school. It was like, it's crazy. Like, okay. 
I'll do that. I got no problems with it. I get on it, and then I guess they, you know, shout out to Fernando Face too. Shout out to Jay Adams. Even back then, Jay Adams did the vocals. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even back then. So, I, I don't know. Then it came out. Did the video. Then we did the video shoot. That was crazy. The video shoot was pretty awesome. It was cold that day, but it, Amy told me it was fun. It was fun. She wasn't expecting it. I guess, you know, because, you know, when you do certain, you know, you never know what energy a person's going to bring to the table. But I got we, I got out there in the middle of Lexington Avenue in, the, in El Barrio, and we had fun, man. <laughs> now, I remember, if you remember our conversation when we first started talking, we were talking about George Watson in high school, which is the high school I went to, and you said you used to play your games there? Yeah, I played Ju Julia Richmond football, played their home football games at g Dub. <laughs> let me tell you, man, G-Dubs, I mean, G-Dubs was a party school, but we mm -hmm. had the worst football team with the worst colors, man. That orange, brown, and black orange was and black, disgusting. Like, like Halloween. Yeah, like Halloween. Yo, I played baseball against Manny Ramirez there. No, no, it's, it's funny because yeah. George Washington mm -hmm. may have been not too good in football, but they were awesome in baseball, man. They, they, they were awesome in baseball. They had Manny. Yeah, we I had, we had all the Cubans, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans on that team. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. He's used to the ball over the fence, and that fence was far, man. <laughs> it was crazy. It's, it, it's nuts, man. It, when you told yeah. me about that, I was like, man, it's a small world, man. What year did mm -hmm. you graduate? 90s. I guess I'm like in the 90s. I, I don't want to say the exact year. <laughs> the 90s. Dude, I graduated in the 80s. I'm old, man. I'm old. You're not old yet. Uh. <laughs> All right. So it's, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play Hot Spot because I really like that song. Chad Miller hey, told to me about Amy that song. Torrey. Shout out to Amy Tory, and then I'll come back. We do our shout outs, man, and here we go. I would love to do a tour with everybody. Yep, that's the that's the that's the goal. I want to do a tour with everybody that, that that's featured on the Ty Bless versus Freestyle record. Hell yeah, Amy Tory, hot spot. Here we go. Phase two productions. <laughs> My name is Ty Bless. You and I listen to the sounds of you, 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 music lovers radio. You're listening to Stream Mix Stream Mix Radio. You know we're gonna party right. Oh, we're gonna rock and roll. Oh, we're gonna party right. Oh, we're gonna rock this mother out tonight. We're gonna rock the house to morning light. It's time to hit the scene. To something that will make you scream. Cause we're gonna take the time to show.
Let me shout like no other. Be the spot like this. I'm a down to earth brother. With the magic on his lips. Run a game on your love. So I'm trying to go to kids. The place on fire. They admire and I feel that a sudden baby try. Make it clean like a dish. I've been hot since 97. With that move it like this. Hitting stages since I'm loving. On tour with the kids. Put a triple to the back. Put the drama in the club. Put his record on black. Why people shake it up? When the goodie two shoes. I'm a thief in the slum. I'm the one who's bad news. Can't keep their mouth shut. We've been taking over crews. Hot spot make a buzz. From one day to another. Now I'm losing up. I'ma hit it till I get it. Cool stuff. Take my time till I'm finished. Baby girl, don't rush. Come on. That's fire, brother. That is fire. That's, that's one of my favorite songs ever. <laughs> it, is. it always makes me happy to hear that record. Thank you, brother, man. So let me give Thank my you. shout out to everybody that made this possible today. Of course, we got the Freestyle Radio. We got DJ DR1, who's up. He wanted me to say yeah, what's ooh. up to you. Vibe 24-7, Classic 4-7, of course, Extreme Mix Radio. You guys are solid. I love you guys. UBM. Say a lot of promotions. We got Canadian Freestyle Music and more. And Bella Entertainment, brother. Everybody is here to support you. Everybody here loves your music. And we are looking forward for you to making a lot more. Thank you, man. I'm really flattered. I appreciate everybody. I'm really humbled by this, by this experience. I wasn't even expecting you guys to have all these pictures. of. It's like, I still appreciate it. And I mean, it's not every day that I feel that way doing music. So I really, God bless you all. Big shout out to the Twinkies, Jasrita, Shirley's, Shay a lot of production, um, Gail, Jill, my man Dr. All those DJ crews that you just named, all the radio stations that play, that play, you know, that do it, you know, they do what they do for me. I mean, every entity, because you know, we all work hand in hand to try to make these things happen for each other, man. Thank you guys for you know all your contributions. Sharing, sharing, just sharing a video, sharing a song, that's like buying a record, y'all. I'm not, I want y'all to understand that. That's the new way of buying a record and showing support to artists. And you guys, are the guys that I'm, the people that I'm seeing right now in the chat room, all the way from the top to the bottom, A to Z. You guys, I thank you all for that. Thank you, brother, man. Well, I want to thank you again for doing this, man. I was, you know, I was looking forward to doing this in June, but you know, Vegas came up, so I was looking forward to to doing this. So I'm glad today came and. And you were, uh, you, man, you a solid guy, man. You are an upbeat, solid guy. I loved talking to you. It was a lot of fun. And I love when I do these interviews, and these interviews are fun. So thank you so I much. Try. And anytime, you know, just like you allow me on Extreme Mix Radio, you, anything you need from us at the Music Lovers Radio and from the Freestyle Radio, you name it, we got you. Just keep playing my stuff. That's all I ask. <laughs> That's all I ask. You got I no let these, I, let, I let these promoters know that they need to put me on stage out there. You know what I mean? I don't, don't, tell the other artists, don't be scared. I ain't going to put that. I ain't going to I ain't gonna outwork them that much. You got <laughs> it, brother. Thank you so much, man. Ty, right. you're the man. Have a What's great up? weekend. Be safe out there, man, and much love. Much love. Peace. Peace out. <laughs>